for clicking on the channel today. My name is E, this is Turtle Wandering, and today what I'm doing is, as opposed to it being my adventure, I'm actually helping other people have an adventure. So, getting ready to go out and volunteer for a local event known as Monkey Knife Fight. Monkey Knife Fight is a charity cycling event. It is a mixed media, which means it's a mix of road and gravel and dirt, B roads, just not like your standard um, road bike ride, but also not like a mountain bike ride. And it's been run for over 10 years now, and the proceeds this year are going to dream come true in the Lehigh Valley, which gives um, wishes to critically ill and uh, terminally ill children. And it also provides money this year for the first time to Community Bike Works, which is a great local organization that is really helping get kids into cycling. And the best part of what they do is they do like an earn a bike program. And so youth go for a certain number of weeks and they choose a bike and then through their own sweat equity, they earn that bike. And at the end they get the bike, they get a helmet, but then they also learn about how to maintain the bike, um, you know, things of that nature. And then they can continue on, they can be peer mentors and help other youth get bikes. They also do like after school programs where they can earn other things like a computer, which is great if they don't have one in their home because oftentimes these are youth that maybe their families don't have the funds to be able to get them like a nice brand new bike so they're able to, you know, put one together and have something that they can take out and enjoy. I personally have ridden Monkey Knife Fight a number of years, but decided this year, I, instead of doing the riding, I would give back. I mean, part of it is honestly, I've been doing so much hiking and stuff, I'm not in the best cycling condition at this point. I'm just getting my cycling legs back. So I figured I would just go in and help out the cause and um, you know just have a good time receiving all the, the riders and, and, and everything. Um, also, I'm in the unique position that because I am fully vaccinated, it gives me a little bit more leeway to help out than somebody who maybe is still waiting to have that occur for themselves. You know, a lot of still um, tight COVID protocols, so everyone is going to be required to wear masks to the rest stations, including the riders. I've got my cycling one here, as you can see. Um, a lot of low touch, so a lot of stuff's already going to be like pre-packaged, pre-bagged, things of that nature to keep the contact down. And the number of riders is limited compared to normal. Um, we were able to open it up a little bit, the promoters were, a little bit due to the uh, state relaxing some restrictions, but still it's going to be a more intimate affair than it has been in the past. But honestly, we're all grateful for being able to have it this year. Last year, we did have to uh, postpone because it was so early in the pandemic and so to be able to do it this year is just like super awesome and I'm super psyched to be able to get out there and hang out with some of my favorite people in the world which are cyclists. As always we caffeinate a little bit first got that going going to stop by a local bakery grab something from there because I haven't had their stuff in forever um, and then off to get set up I have arrived at the calm before the monkey storm see y'all out there guys good how are you How are What's you? Up? How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Have a good ride, guys. Hey, thanks. Have a good ride. Good morning. Good morning. Have a good ride. Have a good one, ladies. Good to see you out here. Yeah, it is a good day to be out. Absolutely. Great day to ride bikes and for a good cause, right? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's good to see people staying safe but getting back to a normal life too. For so sure. For all is good, right? All, all is right. All is right with the cycling world today, for sure. It is, isn't it? Yep. Uh,
Good to see you. Good to see people. Yeah. It's like, I know, it's like, wow, people, they're like real. Holy Lord. Or, yeah, there you go. That's even better. Yep. And then it reconnects there. Shortly there. I'll get back on green. So I'm taking the green for the exception of those two minutes. Yep. All right. There you are. That was about to get us harder. And the other two go straight or right or left. So there's one Which like course are you on? 50. 50. So at mile, where was it? 7. Green goes left. And blue and orange go straight. So straight. And it reconnects about a half mile. And you're back on green. Okay. And then at the top of goat. Yeah, Dave. How's the ride so far today? Good. Yeah. Enjoying it. Okay. okay. Looking All right. Rolling. Roads are good. Roads are great. Yeah. Sweet. What do you sell those out? Like? <laughs> All right. Sandwich. How you doing? Good. What's happening, brother? Good. Good. Enjoying the ride so far? Yes. Sweet. We got go deal now. So. And a good time is had by all. It should be fun. Always got. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> When the right legitimately has a goat, you know it can't yes. be a bad thing, right? McDonald's egg McMuffins. That's what you feel with. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. My son would love that. Yeah. But I don't know if it's worthwhile for him to get just for How's the ride so far? Fantastic. Yeah? Great. Roads are good? Yeah. Yeah. Gravel is awesome. And, and the climbs feel extra flat, right? Yeah, they're super, I mean, for him, yeah, especially, yeah. Very flat. You had to stand up, though. Yeah. Once or twice you had to stand up? A little bit. The faster you go, the easier you, the quicker you're done. Mo momentum is your friend, right? All right, so things have slowed down at the rest stop. This is what is known as a clover leaf design. So basically what happens is everybody goes and does their loops, but it always comes back to the same 
rest stops so they can drop things off they can pick things up as they need to and it you know looks like when you look at a map like a clover leaf from a logistical point of view uh, clover leaf designs are great because you only need to set up one rest stop which means you don't have to split up your supplies you don't have to set split up your volunteers it just makes things um, a lot simpler and it's also easier honestly for head counts because then you have a better idea as to how many people have come through we also know who the sweep is which will be the final person that will ride the course and really what they're doing is they're it's kind of a safety check so it's a way of making sure that everybody else is free of the course so usually your sweeper is somebody who's an incredibly strong rider which in this case it's it is an incredibly strong rider um, friend of mine Celine who has raced um, professionally throughout the world honestly and so that is her role her husband is the promoter and so she's kind of doing that so she left last and she will finish the course last but she'll still get done in plenty of time because she's got that ability and that strength as a rider I really appreciate the amount of mutual admiration that happens during the course of the day. You know, the riders appreciate the volunteers. We, of course, appreciate the fact that they're riding. And, you know, so everyone then is kind of doing what they need to. And no one's giving anyone a hard time because we're all working hard in a different capacity. And, you know, it just kind of makes you feel better about doing your part, whether it's riding or taking part as a volunteer. It certainly seems like things are starting to pick up just a little bit. I think we're getting folks coming in from their various groups. So I'm going to go check back in with the group and see how I can help out. But, 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 but again, I guess we come back here anyway. So for those who are confused now watching this, Corey normally rides a fixed gear on all these crazy events, but uh, he decided he actually wanted to enjoy himself today. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a little bit of fun. Yeah, I think the last time I last edition of this that I did, uh, I did it with a fixed gear. But there was like a like a big gathering, everybody at the end where they were eating food and drinks. Yeah. And, and uh, there's none of that. There's no celebration at the end, so I wouldn't have all that food and drink to you know, to, you know join up with everybody else again. Just suffer out here, or actually not suffer, just have fun with it. Yep. Spin up the hills as, as opposed to grinding up the hills. Because Ulaka Waiko is mm -hmm. in two weeks. Yep. And that one's going to be another cool event. I saw. Pretty much at this point, everybody has come in to the rest stop it's going to, except for the uh, support crews. And so they're starting to have a little bit of fun now, kind of congregating. So now we're just cleaning up, and then we'll go back to the finish and um, kind of see where things go from there. outro last night um, overall yesterday was just beautiful there's no other way to describe it I think you know this year has been so hard so challenging for so many people and uh, so people were grateful to not only 
be outside, which is something we've been able to do, but we haven't really been able to do it in, in groups. And while the groups were spread out, so it was a very different event than in the past where you might have, you know, easily 50, 75 people congregating in the same area, it was still people that had a common goal and a common purpose being both the riding and doing something for a good cause, being able to be together um, and enjoying that time and, you know, being able to help out and, um, you know, again, give back to the cycling community that I feel like has given so much to me. Um, and at some point we'll talk even more about, you know, kind of where I fit into the cycling community and everything. Uh, but yeah, that was the, the day. Uh, looking forward to more opportunities to both ride and volunteer and so I'll definitely be doing more of that as the summer rolls on. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please um, give it a like. I'd love to hear some comments and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Later Terrapins.